CIET NCERT presents audiobook of mathematics for class 5 entitled Math Magic 5. This is the chapter 3. Part 2. Page 40. How many squares in me? On the page we have some pictures. The first one is a conversation between a boy and a girl. We see a rectangular figure between them which is created by two squares on top of the other. The figure is cut diagonally from the top right to the bottom left corner creating two triangles. The girl on the left is asking, What is the area of this triangle? The boy is telling, the triangle is half the rectangle of area 2 square centimeters. So its area is dash square centimeters. Below that we have another conversation between a boy and a girl. In between them we see a big rectangle in which there is a shape of curves drawn. The girl is asking, is this shape half of the big rectangle? The boy is thinking, Hmm, so its area is dash square centimeters. Question. Write the area in square centimeters of the shapes given. Again we see the picture of a huge grid created by many squares. Within these grid lines we see a lot of geometrical figures drawn and marked as A, B, C, D, E and F. For the teacher. In this exercise, children are expected to notice the geometrical symmetry of the shapes to find out their area. Encourage children to evolve their own strategies. Rounding off is not needed in these examples. Page 41 Try triangles. On top of the page we see a grid line structure as the base on which two triangles are drawn, one blue in color and one red. A girl, Samina, and a boy, Sadik, both are looking at these triangles. Samina says, Both the big triangles in this rectangle have the same area. Sadik is thinking, but these look very different. Sadik says, Sadik continues by saying, the blue triangle is half of the big rectangle. Area of the big rectangle is 20 square centimeters. So the area of the blue triangle is dash square centimeters. Samina asks, and what about the red triangle? Sadik replies, Ah, in it there are two halves of two different rectangles. And then we see a bird on the bottom right of the page telling us, Now you find the area of the two rectangles Sadik is talking about. What is the area of the red triangle? Explain. Page 42 Sadik says, Yes, you are right. And you know what? You can draw many more triangles of area 10 square centimeters in this rectangle. Try drawing them. Help Sadik in finding some more such triangles. Draw at least five more. Complete the shape. Suruchi drew two sides of a shape. She asked Asif to complete the shape with two more sides so that its area is 10 square centimeters. We have two pictures. On the left side, there is a grid line structure of squares in which an incomplete figure has been drawn by Suruchi, the top of a triangle perhaps. And on the right side, we see the same figure being completed by Asif. He joined the two lower ends of the figure to create another triangle downwards. He completed the shape like this. 
Suruchi asks, How did you do this? Asif replies, Oh, that's easy. If you look at the green area, it is 4 square centimeters. Below it is the yellow area of 6 square centimeters. So the area of my shape is 10 square centimeters. Questions. Is he correct? Discuss. Explain how the green area is 4 square centimeters and the yellow area is 6 square centimeters. Page 43. On the top of the page, we again see Suruchi and Asif conversing. This time, Suruchi has drawn the bottom triangle in a different way, which is present here in blue color. Suruchi is telling Asif, Oh, I thought of doing it differently. If you draw like this, the area is still 10 square centimeters. Questions Is Suruchi correct? How much is the blue area? Explain. Can you think of some other ways of completing the shape? Try some other ways yourself. Now ask your friends at home to solve these. We see the picture of a girl next to the questions, thinking to herself. Every time guests come home, I ask them to do this. But why do they run away? Practice time. 1. This is one of the sides of a shape. Complete the shape so that its area is 4 square centimeters. To the right side of the question, we see a square grid with one sloping line drawn at approximately 45 degrees. 2. Two sides of a shape are drawn here. Complete the shape by drawing two more sides so that its area is less than two square centimeters. On the left side of the question, we see again a square grid with two sloping lines drawn, which are meeting at the top, like the point of a triangle. For the teacher, children can be encouraged to make shapes with either straight edges or curved edges to cover the given area. This exercise can be extended by asking children to draw on squared paper as many shapes as they can of a given area and making guesses for the largest or the smallest perimeter. They can also be asked to check their guesses by measuring the dimensions of the shapes. In case of curved edges, thread can be used for measuring the perimeter. Page 44 3. Here is a rectangle of area 20 square centimeters. Below this we see two rows of squares, one on top of the other. Question, part A. Draw one straight line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal triangles. What is the area of each of the triangles? Part B. Draw one straight line in this rectangle to divide it into two equal rectangles. What is the area of each of the smaller rectangles? Part C. Draw two straight lines in this rectangle to divide it into one rectangle and two equal triangles. What is the area of the rectangle? What is the area of each of the triangles? Part 2. The chapter 3 ends here. Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in production by Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India